Hi everyone, Miss Silla here. I hope that you guys are having a nice weekend. So I have something neat that's growing in our garden that I wanted to share with you guys. So about two and a half months ago, I meant to purchase cucamelon seeds, but I guess I ended up with something else, but it's closely related to cucamelons. They're also a miniature um, variety of cucumbers. So I ended up with these ones here with spiny skins, and they are a little bigger than I think cucamelons because cucamelons are supposed to be the size of grapes. These are the size of small plums. These ones are called West Indian Burr Gherkins or Cucamis unguria. So they are, they are closely related to the cucamelon, just another variety of a miniature cucumber. So I'm not sure um, how else to prepare this, but I've read that you can cook them. I'm only used to eating cucumbers raw, like tossed in salads. Not sure about the skin, if I should get a vegetable peeler and peel that off first because I don't think I want to give this to my kids. They're pretty sharp, spiny skin, so um, I guess I can peel it off. But I'm going to go ahead and take this inside and slice them and see how they look like so I can show you. So that's what I'm growing in the garden. Even though I didn't end up with cucamelons, I'm actually happy with this variety. Let's take a look at the trellis and take a look at the rest of them that are growing. And then we'll head inside and we'll cut this open. It's pretty bright out. It's in the middle of the afternoon, but you can see the rest of them down there. The vines are slowly creeping up the trellis. There's another one right there. So this is how they look like when they're babies. The immature ones are very spiny. Look at that. So my son thought it was a bug. I picked one the other day and I placed it on the kitchen counter and he wasn't sure what it was so I had to tell him and he thought it was pretty this cool. It's such a neat looking so cucumber. We'd like to know if you guys have grown it before. So far so good. I planted it about two and a half months ago, almost three months. So it says that it matures between 55 to 65 days. Planted it in full sun like you would with cucumbers and near the trellis. So there are some baby fruits in there and lots of flowers so I hope it produces more for me and we'd like to know how you're prepare it. So any tips, uh, please let me know. First time I'm growing this variety. Um, I'm going to go and uh, slice it up and taste it and let you know how it tastes like. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Look at how pretty they look. I also picked some nasturtium and borage flowers. Borage blossoms taste like sweet honey and nasturtiums remind me of a spicy papaya. Some of these are very spiny so before preparing it, especially if you're going to eat them raw, you might want to rub the skin with a scour sponge. So let's go ahead and slice this. So this one's not too bad. Oh, it's very tender. It's just like a cucumber inside. Go ahead and give it a taste. Mmm, sweet. Maybe a, a slight citrus flavor. These are delicious. So these would be great to toss in salads. I've also read that some people cook them, uh, put them in stew or soup. So besides the cucumis anguria's interesting and unique look, it is a delicious variety of cucumber.